Well, the Williamson County Historical Society hopes that visitors will come and check out their new exhibits put together during the pandemic. Pretty exciting. And we've been checking out. Some, That's right. I can guarantee at least to be there. I'm going there. At least <laughs> one new person's going. Our Brooke Slyer is there alive. So, Brooke, where are you at at the Historical Society now? Good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, you know, I've given you a pretty good glimpse so far. We showed you the jail, the sheriff's office, the pharmacy, and right now I'm actually at the grocery store and joined one last time by Sharon. So go ahead and tell me a little bit about uh, this grocery store. Okay, this grocery store was here in Marion, and when you went to the stores like this, you bought everything here. You bought your uh, dishes, you bought your mining, you know, your lunch bucket, things for the miners. Uh, you bought your notions as far as your sewing items, bought feed for your cattle. You could buy everything. It was a one-stop shop. That's what I'm talking about. And you said that you uh, have this ledger now, and that was a pretty good find for you guys. So tell me, you know, what's all in that ledger and why it was so important? Okay. This is one particular ledger that was actually from 1934, and every we have others, but when you came in, you wrote down or the shop owner would write down every item and how much you paid for that item. And then at the end of the month, you would pay for everything and then you would start over. So you get a tab at the end of the month of how much you owed. All right. And you know, when I was over there with Sam at the pharmacy, we were talking about, you know, some of the different elixirs and potions, and, you know, things like that behind us. And we have some other things here behind us as well. We have some spices, some Velveeta cheese, some crafts, some things like that. So were there any of these items that kind of surprised you to learn about or that uh, you never knew existed? Uh, just how many different varieties of the same thing. Uh, the items that they used, the different soaps and and things like that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning and showing me some of these new and updated exhibits. And of course, I'll have this information on our website a little later this morning. That's WSILTV.com under news for this morning. Now go ahead and toss it over to you, Nick.